Hey, welcome to another episode of BeersAndBars.com. We're here back at the happiest place on earth. We're back here at Disneyland, and we're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, celebrating my wife's uh, birthday. And it's a late night. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning. Just came back from spending the entire day at the park and decided to do uh, a late night, early morning uh, beer review. And I know you guys watched the Super Bowl and you might have catched the commercial about Bud Light next regarding uh, the Super Crisp Light Beer, Zero Carb Beer. And of course, as soon as I had an opportunity, I went ahead and picked me up a six pack of this no carb beer. And it says it's zero carbs, 80 calories and 4% alcohol per volume. So perfect beer uh, for a late night when you got to wake up early. It's not really going to set you back much, especially when you got to wake up and do the same thing over again and go to the park and just uh, have a, another wonderful day. But it also was kind of curious as uh, how they went about doing a zero carb beer. And I looked online and this was this was my thought. But uh, on VinePair.com it says... The ingredients in the carb-free beer are water and rice, like the original, uh, like the original, but using malt for the alcohol and natural flavors. Uh, and it also says omitting key ingredients in the beer making process, like barley and hops, straddling the line between beer and hard seltzer. Now, I usually like to drink a few uh, before I actually do the review, so I did have two of them and you know I could actually uh, concur with the sentiments of what they're the sentiments of what they're talking about and um, I mean it, it makes sense but let's go ahead and open up another one and let's go ahead and uh, drink this one together Now you guys seeing what I'm seeing, right? Lots of carbonation. Very slight coloring. It's almost it's almost clear. It almost has that that ginger ale type look to it. Now the aroma I'm getting is almost like a slight, like a slight licorice aroma. Also some citrus notes to it. But like it said, it doesn't have any hops in it. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It is light and crisp, but it is arguable uh, if it actually is more like a seltzer than a beer. Cause I mean, it, it reminds me, really reminds me of a seltzer. The only difference is that it doesn't really have any, you know, seltzers has a flavor to it, whether it be natural or, you know, added to it, but I would say this is hard hard seltzer water so I mean if you want to call it beer I would call it beer but that's fine with me but it's definitely leaning more towards the, the seltzer especially since I've tried the seltzers um, yeah it, it for me it tastes more like hard water so 
I'm really on the fence, but I, I would lean towards the seltzer. I would lean towards calling it a seltzer because it doesn't really have the characteristics of a of a regular beer. It's just you know you joke you joke you joke around when you talk about Budweiser and Bud Light, Coors. You say that it's watered down, but this one is <laughs> basically hard seltzer water. So. I mean, you guys give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. But I, for one, would not be picking up another six-pack of this sucker here. Actually, to be honest, I think Budweiser Zero definitely had more flavor than this, than the next. Um, but, you know, you go ahead and give it a try. And it's obviously, it's an option, zero carb. It's great, especially if you're watching your carbs. You get 4% of alcohol, so you still catch a, a slight buzz if you want to. So, I mean, in those aspects, keeping it simple, keeping it uh, simple as far as you don't have to worry about the carbs. 80 calories, not too bad. 4%, it's not really going to get you wasted or anything like that. If you stick to a sixer, perfect. So, For what it is, if that's what you're looking for, then it's perfect for you. But uh, I'll take a few carbs if you add a little more taste to it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another beer review here on beersandbars.com. Like I always say, if you haven't done so already, have a great beer and be safe out there. All right. Thanks for watching.